something simple for A little morning. something for morning. Thank yeah. you. So you lived in Seattle for how long? About 11 years. About 11 years. Yeah. Where are you from originally? Uh, well, I'm from Washington originally, okay. but I went to school in New York. And, and then all over. Oh. So and then I kind of just traveled a little bit, and then I moved back. Excellent. So how did you get involved in the show? Um, you have to audition. So there's a very rigorous audition uh, set up. And then... Um, <laughs> what you have to do? You Well, you have to lip sync for your life a lot. Wow. And uh, you have That's to show acting life, and singing and sewing and... Sewing as yeah, well? Yeah, it's, it's like drag's version of America's Next Top Model. <laughs> but it's ridiculous and so much fun so it was it stressful of course yeah. i can only imagine yeah. and there must be like gazillions yeah. of people who are doing this yeah there's thousands and then they whittle it down to 50 25 and then the um the people that actually get on the show how did they let you know you made it uh, they called and there's a couple of times where they'll call and be like we also need a little bit more information so you don't you're like oh i'm going through another phase right. and then they call and you think it's going to be one of those again and then they're like, so you're on it. Are you somewhere where, well, before they're like, are you somewhere where we can talk? And I was like, <laughs> oh, no. I'm at a Starbucks. I'm in Seattle. <laughs> like, I'm like, I where know. else would I be? And they're like, could you get somewhere private? And I was like, mm, I guess so. Like, maybe they just need to hear me and can't hear me. And then they're like, you're on the show. We chose you. And I almost, well, I almost peed. That was <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. See, there's a restroom in Star Wars. And there was a restroom. Yeah, so that's there's all, a reason. That's all yeah, good. for those drag queens getting on TV. <laughs> so, uh, can you tell us anything about this this season? Well, we're up to the third episode. Okay. The fourth um, is debuting tonight, um, so you can come see it at my bar. All right. Uh, and uh, it's a lot. It's not. It's never what you expect, and it's lots of drama. It is never what yeah, you expect. Right. And RuPaul is more attractive on in person than she appears on TV, which How about is that? even more alarming. That's so, wow, that is Yeah, cuz really she looks amazing. really good on TV. She doesn't do. <laughs> Let's take a look at a clip oh, of the show. Oh, right. Here we go. Actually, I'm feeling shaken in this competition right now. The thing that I know I can do, acting, I fail at. I'm feeling really disappointed in myself. That me. made me unhappy I'm glad they to showed hear that. that. My that, goodness. Uh, well, what, what had happened? What was the deal there? Well, at that point, at that point, um, that was in the third, this last episode, and it was roller girl realness, and we had to show up in um, whatever our drag version mm -hmm. of roller girl is, and I showed up in a vintage uh, jumpsuit that I had rhinestoned. <laughs> and <naturally, laughs> one And they made drag queens roller skate on a runway. So what? if you can imagine, that sounds safe. Yeah. And uh, I was the only one that knew how to roller skate. So I sent the other girl home. Oh. Sorry. You know, like, that happens. But uh, it was it was really funny and hilarious. But we have a challenge before then that, that you get judged on. And then you have the runway. And that can make or break you. Um, and so I had an okay, you know, runway uh, next to the other girls. But the challenge... I had helped everybody else and didn't help myself, basically. That can happen. So that can happen. That can happen, yeah. and yet here you are. So if you win this show, what does it do for your life, do you think? Well, first off, you win $100,000. That changes things. A, yeah, you know, especially for a drag queen. You're, like, used to working for a dollar, so you're, like, a hundred. Like, <laughs> hooray. So, um, yeah, it's, so it's, it's exciting, and you get to tour a lot. I'm already, I just got back from Florida, mm -hmm. so I've been touring and enjoying other cities and other uh, drag communities. So. so you mentioned your bar here. Tell us more yeah. about that. Our place um, up on Capitol Hill. They're on the corner of Boylston and Pine. And we do a viewing party tonight at 6, another at 7, and then another at 9. I'm only at the first two because drag does have an expiration date. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll tell you, though, your highlighting is spectacular. You flirt. I wish you'd, I wish you'd hang out and teach me a few All right. things. Well, I be careful really what you wish that. for. Tomorrow I... <laughs> she'll be in full drag. So. <laughs> so what's next for you in Seattle? Um, in Seattle, I have a show at the Hard Rock Cafe that's a lot like the uh, Carol Burnett show. Mm -hmm. So it's a I variety show. I can see that. Yeah, you know, it's a little cute. It's fun. And I um, could be your Harvey Corman. You can. Oh, careful. I'm telling you. Well, you we have a new a job. Team. You have a new job. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I sing live. I dance heavily. And it's all um, like a 60s um variety show so it's a lot of fun i also write comedy sketches so for those of you that don't remember carol burnett it's more like a musical version of saturday night live 
just actually you're all like we know Carol. we know Carol. Yeah. yes i was going you'd be yeah. surprised I, a lot of people no like I, I work with a lot of young people and have to do that a lot yeah you don't know about that but it was really cool you're when like it trust me so good. trust me it was good so the clothes are great do you make these do you get them I think made? It's made by uh michael c Press studios and his great team so there he's got quite a few uh seamsters as i call them and so um, there you are yeah oh my very you look fantastic well you look great as a redhead in the clip red so you really change it up hair huh? my face oh. look at that oh what a trash <laughs> goodness <laughs> that is the promo shot from the show which i have to tell you that was so early in the morning and i look i personally am like but don't you look exhausted <laughs> i think you look great yeah. you look like a sort of hairspray in that one yeah this, yeah this looks great that dress that, your color? that dress was actually my great aunt's dress that i remember her wearing at my great grandfather's funeral oh. and it's covered those dots on it are rhinestones um and i remember i was four years old at the funeral and i was like she's so glamorous <laughs> like and it's backless and i'm like who would wear that at a funeral <laughs> she did very shy family. Very shy. Yeah, I, I actually, my parents are ministers, so it's kind of humorous because um, this is what happens. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Robbie, it's great it's to It's great to meet you. Thank you so Absolutely. much. I hope you'll come back. Oh, your hands are nice and cool, too. Well, cold water backstage. As, you know, cool hands, warm heart. That's what my mother you used to say. Flirt. I'm telling you. <laughs> you can watch Robbie compete in the rest of this season's RuPaul's Drag Race Monday nights at 9 o'clock on Logo TV. Up next, the Trufant brothers, Marcus and Isaiah, they're opening up a new season at Evergreen Speedway and supporting a great cause. We'll get caught up with them after this. Thanks so much. Even